Right, hello. So today we're going to go through how to use your calculator efficiently. Um, one of the Casio calculators are usually the best to use. They're usually the most user friendly. First thing you need to do is make sure it's in the correct mode. So here you'll see there's little R at the top of the screen. I'm not sure you can see that. Let's try this. There you go. So there's an R at the top of the screen. You don't want it in radians. You actually want it in degrees. So what you do is if you pressed focus it again, shift, set up, which is the yellow one here, it will give you this screen. Now number four you can see is radian, so if you press number three, we've put it into degrees mode and as you can see it's changed to a D. Now some calculators for some reason go into standard four mode, just to show you what that means is if I did five plus five, it gives me a long answer in standard form and you don't really want that because you can't get rid of it even if you come pressing if you turn it off or anything it still puts it in that mode so to get it out of that you go back to shift and setup you want it into normal which is number eight and then if you press one afterwards it now when i do five plus five will give me the actual correct answer so you want to make sure you uk is in the correct mode first now, using your calculator. So here you'll see we've got some very, very typical calculator questions and we're gonna go through them one at a time. So the first thing we want to look at is this question here. What is four minus seven squared divided by eight? So when I type that in, I'm gonna type in four minus seven squared first. So that's the top line, the numerator, equals. Then I'm just going to press divided by 8, and you'll see that it's got my answer that I previously had, divided by 8, equals. So now I'm going to add. So I'm just going to press add. So whatever I've just had, now it's 6 squared, which again I'm going to put into brackets. 6 squared divided by 0 0.2. So it's my answer plus whatever I'm doing here and then I press equals, I'll have my correct answer. Now, because it wants it to two decimal places, that makes it 174.38, because the five rounds it up. Next question, what is 12 over 30 as a decimal? Now, this is a really common question. The best way of doing it is, remember, fraction and division are exactly the same thing. So 12 divided by 30, you can see I've typed it in gives me 0 0.4, so it actually does it automatically this time. So I'll just write in 0 0.4. Now some calculators will keep it as a fraction, so it will look like 2 over 5. Now the most important button on the calculator is this one here, SD. And what that does is that converts fractions to decimal. You can see every time I press it, it's just changing a fraction to a decimal. So very, very useful. Right, number three. What is minus five squared take away minus five squared? So you really need to be careful how you input this into your calculator. So it's minus the five squared. So if we did that, it would be minus five squared brackets. So make sure you are using the brackets and you are taking away, again, brackets. This time the squared goes outside the brackets which will give us minus 50. Now, just to double check that one, that becomes minus 25 there, and that becomes minus, negative times negative is a positive. Yep, we did get it correct. It's always good to try and make sure you are getting it correct. Number four, again, very common question. What is 0 0.235 as a fraction? Well, Quite an easy one, this one. If you type in 0 0.235 and then you press equals, it just gives you an answer of 0 0.235. You press that SD button again. <clears throat> so I can see, as a fraction, it's 47 over 200. Done. Same as number five. 4.18 as an improper fraction. 4.18 equals. Press my SD button and the calculator does the work for you. Easy. Number six, simplify a fraction. Well, if I just type it in, 120 divided by 426, 
it gives me the answer as a decimal. So if I wanted that as a fraction in its simplest form, it's 20 over 71. Because you wouldn't want to manually simplify that fraction. For number 7, let's try that one. 16,400 divided by 32,580. There's it as a decimal. So as a fraction, it's 820 over 1,629. Number eight, what is the cube root of 243? Now your cube root button is either shift square root, there it is in yellow, or you can use this one for when you're doing more than three, more than the cube root. So I type in shift square root, you can see it's already set up the cube root. Now I type in the 343, it gives me an answer of seven. And the final question we're going to look at what well, is pi divided by two to three decimal places? Now pi is just above here in yellow, so therefore it's the shift button again. So shift button to get pi, and then I just press divided by two, and it'll give me an answer for me. So to three decimal places, let's have a look at that. That's 1.57, and the last one moves up to one because of the seven. So here's some basic tips and tricks to help you on calculator style questions.